Hello, this is Dr. Gay. I'd like to talk about the rotator cuff now. Just go over some basic anatomy. This is one of the most commonly torn things in the shoulder, and it's what we look for in everyone. And of course, everyone has heard of the rotator cuff, so here is what it is. So I'm gonna start with some basic anatomy, get oriented. You're looking straight at the shoulder. This round thing here is the humeral head. The humeral head sits in this cup here. The cup is called the glenoid, and this is the shoulder joint here. We have white stuff here. This is fluid within the shoulder joint, and this is from an arthrogram procedure. Now, out laterally here, this is the outside of the shoulder. This is the deltoid muscle. And right over here, we see another muscle. This is part of the rotator cuff. So the rotator cuff is a group of four muscles and tendons that come horizontally this direction across over the top of the humerus or in front or back of the humerus, and they attach way over here on this thing we call the footprint. And on this one, we can see this gray, thick, juicy muscle. This is called the supraspinatus. It comes horizontally, gets thinner and thinner, it turns into a black tendon, and then it again attaches right over here at the footprint. So a lot of times they're torn right here from the footprint and, retract, and uh, retracted backwards. And so this is again the rotator cuff. Thank you very much.